Hi there, Unite for Her community. I'm Sue Weldon, and I am here with Dr. Shaheen. Dr. Shaheen is the medical director for the Gynecology Oncology Center over at Jefferson in Abington, Abington Jefferson. Um, we have an announcement that we're really honored to do this, this month in September, and that is to expand our programming to the ovarian uh, community and to those that are affected with ovarian cancer. We did a pilot last year that, that Mark was so generous to invest in and to help us understand this population and we have now expanded it officially uh, for 2019-20 and I thought it would be great just to sit down with you and just to feel out you know and tell us what it feels to you to be able to offer this to your patients. You, you do diagnose quite a many and quite a few and see many in the area. Sure. So it's an honor to be here and to be part of this organization. And uh, I really feel that uh, through this uh, relation, uh, we bring something to our patients that uh, truly is lacking on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, as physicians, we get hung up in uh, diagnosis, treatments, and a lot of uh, symptom management and toxicity management. And, you know, we are uh, bogged down with uh, a lot of day-to-day -day minutia of taking care of these patients. But uh, what we don't really have resources for and what we fail at uh, in some ways, and maybe that's a strong word, but we uh, tend to um, leave our patients with a lot of uh, recovery to do on their own. And I'm not sure whether anybody has figured out what is the right uh, approach to recovery of these patients. So um, what I find amazing about Unite For Her is that uh, you bring in and you rescue where I leave them off. And uh, our patients really need you in uh, uh, so many ways. So there are, you know, some people would say maybe this is the complementary or integrative part of what I should be doing. Uh, but there's only so much I can offer, so you come in with uh, all kind of approaches to make um, our patients um, begin a healthier life, um, recover from side effects uh, that they have endured, um, provide them with uh, appropriate nutritional uh, information that they may or have not had in the past, but this is now more formal and organized. Um, give them resources to actually go through whether it's acupuncture, um, therapy, or even the community that you bring in together. I think that's amazing. Just yeah. be able to talk yeah. to each other and um, almost be a support group uh, to each other where the patients that are within the uh, group. So all of that is, is, is an amazing offering. Yeah, well, we're, we're honored to bring in the community and we know, you know, the science and the research is there too behind just having movement and yoga and exercise to actually help them get energy, you know, um, sustained much better than, you know, putting on any additional prescription that they would end up going on. And I know you say you see that as well. Yeah, I think earlier today we were talking about how, um, you know, everybody during their treatments wants one more intervention to... Uh, maybe reduce side effects. And a simple one is honestly adhering to a good exercise and uh, mind-body uh, uh, exercises. And uh, uh, that can do so much for the patients to reduce side effects and energize them a little bit. We have science um, that has proven that in uh, breast cancer and it's applicable really to a lot of diseases. Uh, but that's an easy start. Uh, it just requires some uh, commitment on the part of patient, uh, motivation that can come through your organization and, uh, and, and help funding. so many of so, them. So yeah, many of them. The fact that we can give this funding and our community helps us and you know allows us to treat more women. So yeah. we're, we're honored to bring in this population. I know a lot of our women that were in the pilot, they finally felt heard. We would hear them say, you know, I always felt like I had the wrong female cancer. Mm. And um, and now they just are so overjoyed that they have something to hold on to and really something to sustain them during these treatments. So thank you for your support. Mark is now a member of our board of directors and we're really gonna look to him as we expand. Um, we really, out of uh, an overwhelming um, request from the population to move into this area and we were able to do that with some consistent funding and some programming. So, um, yeah.
yeah. I'm appreciative of uh, you guys bringing me on board and uh, I look forward to uh, many great things we can do yeah, together yeah, for us too. our patients. Us too. Okay? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. It's exciting. That's our announcement. Thank yeah. you.